We're now accepting applications for this summer's annual Wildlife Department Youth Camp. Applicants must be between 14 and 16 years of age, and the camp is completely free of charge. The week-long camp held at Lake Texoma gives campers a well-rounded taste of what it's like to work for the Wildlife Department, plus to have a lot of fun at the same time. The camp is limited to only 35 youth, so be sure to get your application in by the deadline. For complete instructions on how to apply, log on to wildlifedepartment.com. Every year, the editors of Outdoor Oklahoma Magazine have the privilege of hosting the annual Reader's Photography Showcase Contest. Now, this is a contest where our readers from across the state can submit their pictures that they've taken in Oklahoma's outdoors. This year, the deadline is April 15th. Now keep in mind that something new we're doing this year is that all of our entries are only being accepted online through wildlifedepartment.com. If you want to make an entry, and we hope you do, all you have to do is log on to wildlifedepartment.com and click on Annual Reader's Photography Showcase on the homepage. So good luck and keep those photos coming in. The application period for the department's popular controlled hunch program begins April 1st. It's totally an online process, and you'll find the application on our website at wildlifedepartment.com. Before you apply, be sure to look at the drawing and hunt results from last year. This information can be very helpful when choosing which hunts to apply for this year. The deadline for applying is May 15th. Good luck. Zebra mussels are continuing to spread throughout the United States and even in Oklahoma. Each year we get a new reported lake being infested with zebra mussels. Zebra mussels are bad because economically they cause the U.S. billions of dollars worth of damage each year. Also, biologically, the zebra mussels remove nutrients from the water by filter feeding that other species rely on. Also, they can clog things like water inlets, water pipes, and even your boat motor and can damage those. It's so important that as responsible anglers and boaters, you take the proper precautions to prevent the spread of zebra mussels. Things like washing your boat and trailer, doing a visual inspection, and draining all water from bait buckets, coolers, and your boat motor is so important to prevent the spread of these invasive species. If you get a chance, take somebody fishing. If you can't take somebody fishing, take yourself. Look at that thing. <laughs> Check out more news of the week at wildlifedepartment.com.